In this video, we're going to talk about one of the harder problems to solve in Google Analytics, unknown direct traffic. In nearly every Google Analytics account, a lot of traffic is labeled as direct. While that mostly means people directly typed your URL into their browser, we want to know more. The biggest question we want to know is what led people to type in your URL in the first place. Let's go through some examples of campaigns that are often misattributed to direct traffic. One common area for this is any kind of offline marketing. You might do a radio interview where you mention your website's address. You might mail out brochures. You might hand out your business cards. All of those might lead people, hopefully will lead people, to type your URL into their browser. Even online, there's some online advertising that doesn't come with a click a podcast interview, some kinds of display ads, and even some kinds of social networking fall into this category. We want to be able to track these instead of having these non-click online marketing sources end up labeled as direct traffic. You might also have other domain names for your business. One of the ways that we can solve these problems is with domain redirects. Let's go through a specific example of how a domain redirect can help. So I wrote a book and there's a page on my website that talks all about this book. But when I do interviews about the book, I don't want to give people this MatthewEdgar.net slash elements of a successful website because that's a mouthful to say. It's also quite a lot to put on an ad. So instead, we can use a friendlier address, such as SuccessfulWebsiteElements.com. And that friendly address can redirect over to the MatthewEdgar.net slash elements of a successful website. But when people type in SuccessfulWebsiteElements.com, I want to know about it. I don't want those people to just be labeled as direct traffic. I want to know that those people came in as a result of typing in this friendly URL. That way I better understand if the marketing I'm doing to promote my book is actually working. As another example, at Elementive, our official company name is Elementive Marketing Solutions. Some people type in our URL as Elementive.com. Other people type in our URL as ElementiveMarketingSolutions.com and still others type it in as ElementiveSolutions.com. Regardless of how they type that in, we want them all to end up on our website. And while we can redirect those URLs, what we're really going after in this video is we want to be able to attribute that person's visit back to the actual URL they typed in. Setting up a domain redirect breaks down into three steps. The first step is we need to get a trackable URL. Now, if you haven't seen our other video on how to set up UTM tracking to work with Google Analytics, go check that video out now. It's linked to down in the description. In order to set up the trackable URL for our domain redirect, we're going to start by putting in the website URL we're redirecting to. In the case of my book, that's the page on my website that talks about the book. We can then put in a campaign source. In this case, we're going to use the domain that's being redirected as the campaign source. So SuccessfulWebsiteElements.com. Campaign Medium offers us a way to group all the different sources. And so we want to put in the campaign medium of domain redirect. We can then also give this a campaign name. In this case, we can use Promo Book. We'll then copy the generated URL, and then we can put that in as our redirect destination. That leads us to step two, which is actually setting up the domain redirect. Now, how you set up the redirect will differ depending on where your domain is hosted or registered. In my case, my domain is registered with GoDaddy. So in GoDaddy, under DNS management, I can select the domain SuccessfulWebsiteElements.com and then scroll down to the domain forwarding area and add a new domain forwarder. In the forward to box, I'll put in the URL that we just created with the UTM tracking parameter and then I'll click save. Now that it's saved, I can scroll back down and the domain forwarding is in place with that long URL. To test this, I can hop over to a new browser and type in SuccessfulWebsiteElements.com, which will then redirect me to the page on my website talking about my book. Now, when anybody types in SuccessfulWebsiteElements.com and is redirected over to my website, instead of that showing up as direct traffic, which is mysterious and unknown, I now know something about where those people came from and why they came to my website. I also know something more about how all the work I'm doing to market and promote my book is actually working. The last step is to check the reports in Google Analytics. So we can go to real time, check out traffic sources, and under traffic sources, we can see that the medium is in there of domain redirect and the source is SuccessfulWebsiteElements.com. If you have any questions about setting up domain redirects, using UTM tracking, or anything else to do with analytics, please send us an email at info at elementive.com.